Redirect. Yes, Judge. <clears throat> now, when you referenced in your testimony that the Dixon family was a gun family, what did you mean? They had, they had guns in the house, and she always talked about it. Okay. Did the mother um, make it clear to you what she thought of you in yeah, the relationship? Her, her, her mom hated me for no reason, just for the point she felt. I was 40, and her daughter was 24. Both of us was grown. Action for relevance and the narrative. Sustained? As to this. Everything they were, huh? Now, the prosecutor asked you some questions about discovery. Hearing the tape, the 911 tape, viewing the videos, all that was done mm -hmm. from the time you got arrested till this trial started, correct? Yes. Okay. And um, so when we, we piece this together, and I had shown you up in uh, D defendant's exhibit number A. And you had wrote on this with a green pen, mm -hmm. and you were kind of going here and here. It seemed you testified to dif differently in terms of where you were going after here, because you mentioned the second part here. That's, I guess, the big one is one, and, that's the, and the one is two. OK. So you've watched the video multiple times. Yes. OK. Do you see yourself coming out here and running this way? Yes. And do you see yourself turning around here Try on the avoid. other side? Try to I don't think it was on the other side. You think I, it was in here? Even one day, y'all got the videos. OK. So whatever it was, you were running out here, and when you saw um, Lieutenant Clayton, you turned and went in the opposite direction. Yes. So you were running away? Trying to avoid, yes. You weren't armed? No. When was the first time you became armed? When I heard the first shot, that's when I, that's when I acted. And so we see on the video that then you turn around and then the gun battle begins. Yes. This I, is all on the video? Yes, it's all on the video. Okay. So whatever you say in terms of whether it was in here or out here, the jury gets to look at the video and they will see the same thing. Yes. Okay. Now, when you were talking, you were a little loud. Yes, I'm, uh, that's how I talk. That's how you talk? Yes. Is that the way you've talked to me for the last number of years? <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. Constantly? Yes. Loud voice? Yes. You, what, what you got to talk about? That's the way I talk. Okay. And many times when we are talking, uh, for lack of a better word. Objection. Sustained. Do we have conversations that divert from your case to your beliefs? Yes. Would that be pretty much all the time? Yes. And when I say your beliefs, those are the same things that you talked about on Facebook? Yes. Okay. Now, you mentioned in your testimony that there was a number of things that you believe I didn't do. Yes. Okay. Yes, you, you notice. And at the end of that trial, I agree. Action on irrelevance sustained. They could ask anything, but well, you can't. Yeah. So. You put all that information on paper and filed it with the judge. Yes. Put down what I talk about what I filed. No, what we were talking about earlier about the, 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 the that it was a it was a relevance sustained the bullet path what happened there the the bullet blood. leading and relevance sustained judge you need to ask your question. You asked all these things though. All right, the system. Now you had an opportunity to look at all the crime scene photos in Dixon, right? Yes. Where did they find 
Sade's gun. In the yard. And what was the purpose of you going over to talk to Charday? Because she asked, she asked me to come over, and then if if she wasn't pregnant, I wouldn't even I wouldn't even went. But she asked me to come over, and she used the babe against me to get me to get me over there. And that was the first text message she texted me was, "Now I know, don't expect no baby." Okay, so we're clear, Mr. Williams. You, now you called him Ryan. Yes. Okay. Has Mr. he been involved in this case the entire time? Yes. Relevance. Sustained. So when he asked you about the reasons that you were going over there. Yes. There were many. Yes. Was there a circumstance with another girlfriend that you had decided before you went over there that you would try to get the baby from her if she didn't want it after it was born and raise it with this other girlfriend. Yes. Objection, relevance, sustained. Mr. Uh, Williams asked you questions about you liking children. You remember that? Yes. Okay. What was your goal during that period of time, beginning in two- Objection, two relevance. This goes to- his rule. Yeah. From 2014, when you got out of prison, what was your goal in terms of children and family? I wanted to have kids, and I wanted to raise my kids upon the same roof with that mother and father, something that we didn't have and, and something that we're lacking in the black community for us, us having uh, mothers and fathers up, up under the same roof. So, I, and I miss raising my kids coming up in prison, so I, I just wanted that. Action, narrative, Shane. And so after you, um, you and Sade had this disagreement. Yes. Did you still want to have that child? Yes. And were you, did you go there in an attempt to try to smooth things over? Yes. Okay. Now, there is actually some things that took place before you went over there that led you to going over there? Yes. What's Facebook Live? Say it again. What is Facebook Live? Oh, uh, Facebook Live is when you go live on Facebook and it's playing live. Okay. And was there something Sade saw on Facebook Live that made her blow up? <laughs> Yes, uh, I posted, I went live on Facebook because I went to the strip club. Um, that was on the 12th, the day before. So, matter of fact, it went into that day. So that was on the 13th because it was 1, 2 in the morning I'm at the strip clubs. So in that, but Sade happened later on. So I was live in the strip club, and I went live with a female that was in the club, which is one of my friends that I know, and I went live with her. It was, it was her birthday, but I didn't go to the club with her, and that was one That was one of the Action things that was talking about. Sustained. Okay, and did she see that and make a comment about the, that? Um... Yes, yeah, she, she sent back. She's like, uh, I hope you had fun out to eat with that hoe. Now I know, don't expect no baby. Okay. And so when you went there to talk to her, did you decide to tell her that you had recently had sex with another woman? Yes, because that, that day I was hooking up with one of my other exes, but she wasn't available at the time, so I called another ex, because all of them still love me. So I called another ex, and I came to her job, and I got her, we had sex. Okay, so you had sex, and it was it your belief before you went over there that you guys were broken up? Yes, yes. So, so when you were involved in these other um, interactions with women, that was from the time from that 
you guys broke up to the time that you went over there on the yes. 13th, correct? Yes. Okay. And you decided to confess to her about that woman? Yes, because that was one of the texts. She texted me. She screenshot because when I was on my way over there, so on the phone call, she was like, you've been around your ex. You've been around your ex and some more shit, some, whatever she said. So now I'm like, what the fuck? So excuse me. Mr. Lloyd, watch your language. Go ahead. So I, I called my I called my ex and when I just had sex, I'm like, well, you told somebody I was with you? I had sex with you or something? And she was like, no, why you said that? I'm like, she just uh, told me I would been around you and some more. And then I get a text message. So I get a text message while, while I'm on the phone with my ex. It's Sade screenshotting me, calling my ex from Facebook, because I didn't have my ex number. Because when I when I really done with you and cut you all the way off, I get rid of your number and everything and take you off my Facebook page and everything. So I call her from Facebook and she screenshot me calling my ex from Facebook. I'm like, man, you know what? Don't even worry about it. She just screenshot me calling you from Facebook, so she's trying to pick me. And did she get that information by using your password and going on your Facebook? Yes, I, I, I forgot she had my passcode, because when I took her home, I logged out my account. Objection, narrative. Sustain. Okay, there was a, there's been a lot of talk of from you uh, about not being scared of the police, that you don't fear anybody, that you um, believe the police were killing you, and I think uh, there are some people confused about what you are talking about. Well, why don't you explain to us that issue? Fear in fear in, in that sense, the way people look at it, it'd be the same as as my belief. So I believe the police was trying to kill me. So other people other people would, would see it as fear, but with my beliefs, my beliefs don't allow me like to use that word. So I believe the police was trying to kill me. So if if you put it in that sense with other people, it would it would be fear. Okay, so when you're saying I'm not scared of the police, is this like, I'm not scared of anyone? Yes, I'm not scared of no one. Okay. But when you're talking about the police are trying to kill me, what are you thinking? That's on a whole other level, like they're, they, they're going to kill me. I, I believe they're trying to kill me. Okay. And even though you're not scared and anybody's going to hurt you or you're not scared of anybody. Did you have a true belief that the police were trying to kill you during the period of time that you were dealing with the incident beginning in, yes, I, let me finish, December 13th, 2016 till um, even after the shooting of Lieutenant Clayton? Yes, I, I, I've had that belief for a long, for a long time. We've been dying. For hundreds of years, I had the beliefs for a long time, and it just got supersized with the lies that was told when I had this traumatic events in my life with my child mother and my child, and, and then what the news reported that come okay. from the investigators. Okay. And you, just so you, you keep saying the news reported, the news reported. Yeah, they don't want to talk about it. There's a limitation on what you can say. Yeah, I know. Okay. Um, and I know you want to say it. It should be allowed. It's evidence. Okay, we're not going to talk about that. Mm -hmm. All right, so um, now I want to talk about the, the actual event. Yes. Okay? Yes. And I, I'm going to try to reenact something. You tell me if this is right. You come around the wall. Watch me. You come around the wall and you're running away. Do you have anything in your hands? No. Okay. You see Lieutenant Clayton out of the size, side of your eyes. Yes. Who do you think that is at that point? Just like I said before, it could have been police. Well, hold on, I gotta, I'm upset right now and I can't really think, cause it's like. <sighs> the system not right. All right, just let's take a deep breath and let's get back to what I'm doing, okay? I'm. 
And I, if I'm, it's, I may be incorrect, but I think you did say it could have been the police. Okay? Go ahead. So you're running and you look in that direction. And who do you think it is? It could have been, it could have been the police. I, I'm, I'm, my mind, my mind, my mind is leaving. Okay. Because it's not right. Okay. Stay with me, Mr. Lloyd. Okay, I want to go through with this. So you break away from running in that direction, which would have been where you end up having the gun battle. Yes. And you turn, your body turns. Yes. Now you're running with your back to Lieutenant Clayton. And your hands are still free, right? Yes. And then you hear a sound that sounds like a gun. Yes, I hear a shot. And then that's when you take out your gun. Objection, counsel's testifying. Sustained. Do you take out your gun at that point? Yes, after I hear the shot, yes. And do you turn around? Yes. And is that when the gun battle begins? Yes. I have nothing further, Judge. All right. Um, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to take a break for lunch. Your lunch has arrived. I'm going to make this a short lunch because we still have that one other witness to go. So 45 minutes. You'll be back in the courtroom by 1.45. We'll start with the next witness. All right, thank you. Enjoy your lunch. All right, courts in recess.